Welcome back. Now we need to create the first title. To do it, we need to create a text line, so let's select the text tool. I want you not to do it together with me for now, because I want to explain a few things before we start. Don't worry, we'll do it together in a few moments. So, once we choose the text tool, there are two ways to create text, a text box, and a text line. If I select a specific area like this, I will create a text box. And if I write something here, the text will automatically drop to the next line when it reaches the box's boundaries. Now I can adjust the size of the box as desired. The second way is to create a text line. For that, I'll click here on the preview screen and type in some text. This is how we create a text line. Unlike a text box, a text line doesn't have borders that we can adjust. Okay, so I'll delete the two layers I created, go back to the selection tool, and let's do it together now. Let's select the text tool. Now click here once to create a text line, and let's write the word text. To start writing in uppercase, you can hold down the shift key and type the letter T. Now let's write the rest of the word without holding the shift key. Next, let's select all the text by double clicking on it. And now, let's adjust it using the character tab. If you don't see it, you can find it under window. Okay, first, let's choose the font style. I'll write BL here, scroll down a bit, and select bold in style. Since I know I'll use this font a lot in this course, I can save it as a favorite. For this, let's click on the star icon here. And now, I can click here to see all my favorite fonts. This way, I don't need to search for it every time. And to go back to see all the fonts, click here once again. All right, and now, let's change the font size. We can do it by dragging this value to the sides or by entering a specific number. Let's set it to 300. And if you want to change the font style, you can open all the different options here. Or click here once and use the up and down arrows. Set it to display heavy. Now let's center the layer in the composition using the align tool. Click here. And here. One last thing. Let's go to paragraph and make sure the text is aligned to the center. And the writing direction is left to right. If your layer moves to the side after doing this, simply recenter the layer using align. And now, I want to talk to you about a very important topic called Anchor Point. I'm talking about this red icon. Let's see what it does and why it's so important. I'll open the rotation parameter and rotate this layer. Pay attention to how it rotates. It rotates in relation to the position of the anchor point. If I want the text layer to rotate from its center, I need to place the anchor point in the center of the layer. I can do this using the anchor point tool located here. Let's select it together and move the anchor point to the center of the layer while holding the control or command key. This way, the anchor point will be snapped to the center. Now let's release the mouse click and then the control key. After using the anchor point tool, don't forget to switch back to the selection tool. Okay, so now let's move on and create the second text. For that, we can simply duplicate this layer and change the text and the design later on. To duplicate the layer, we'll use the shortcut Ctrl D. Now, let's drag the new layer downwards while holding down the Shift key. This way, we can drag it in a straight axis. Now let's double click on this layer and change the text to Animation. Hold the Shift key and type the letter A to make it uppercase. Now release the Shift key and continue typing the rest of the word. Now double-click on the text to select it all, and change the font to Ezra. Let's choose this style. And because we'll be using this font a lot, let's mark it with the star. This way, we can access it more quickly in future sessions. Next, let's change the font size to 100. Or 120, and press Enter. Let's make sure the text is aligned to the center. Let's go to paragraph and make sure the text is aligned to the center and the writing direction is left to right. 
and using the Align tool, let's center the text in the composition. As you can see, the anchor point of this layer is not centered. This time, instead of centering it manually using the Anchor Point tool, we'll do it with the useful shortcut Control alt home Mac users will need to work a bit harder to use this shortcut. Also, don't forget that all shortcuts will work only when the language on your computer is set to English. If so, let's press Ctrl Alt Home. And there you go, the anchor point jumped to the center of the layer. Now, let's go back to the selection tool and move the text here. Now, I want both texts to occupy exactly the same area. They should be resized to match each other's size. To do this, we can use guides. To create guides, we need to display the rulers. We can display the rulers by opening the guides and grids list here, and then select the rulers, or by using the shortcut Ctrl R. And now, to create a guide, let's click here on the ruler and drag the first guide from it. You can place it here. Now, let's create another guide and place it here. Next, let's select this layer and change its size using the scale parameter. But instead of opening this parameter manually, we can simply select the layer and press the S key. Now click here on the value once, and use the arrow keys to increase the size to 105. Then click here to finish the operation. Great, and now we can hide the rulers. To do this, press Ctrl R once again. And to get rid of the guides, go to View, and select Clear Guides. Now let's center these two layers in the composition. To do it precisely, we can use the helpful guide called Title Safe Action. The shortcut for this guide is the apostrophe key. Get used to this shortcut because we will use it a lot. Alright, so now, I can see where the center of the composition is. Now let's select both layers like this and move them upwards using the arrow keys. And if we press the shift key while doing this, the text will move in larger increments. With this, we've finished designing the first scene, and we're ready to animate it.